This lesson is on comparing and ordering rational numbers. And we know that rational numbers can be expressed in the form of a fraction or a mixed number or a decimal. So we're going to learn some strategies here to ensure that you're successful each time. So scenario number one, we have a positive and a positive that we're comparing greater than, less than, or equal to. This is a simplistic example because Right off the bat, we can see this four whole number and this five whole number. So it doesn't even really matter what the rest of it is because we know that 4.65 is less than five and a half. However, what we want to do is we want to, as a general rule, get them in the same format. So I think decimal would, is the easiest here, 4.65. So in your calculator, you can take this fraction into a decimal or we, off the top of your head, you might know that this is 0.5, one half is equal to 0.5. The other thing that you wanna do is you always wanna make sure you're going out to the same place value. Since this goes out to the thousands, we're gonna have that one go out to the thousands as well, it just makes it easier to compare. So the next scenario, a positive and a negative. We know that a positive is always going to be bigger than a negative, so this is greater than. But again, we want to make sure that we're bringing our place values out to, because this is three decimals, we want this one to be three decimals as well. This is both negative in this scenario right here. So we're gonna wanna turn these to decimal places. When we plug this into our calculator, three divided by four is 2.75. And when we take 5 divided by 6 in our calculator, we get um, 0.83 repeating. So right here, because they're both negative, this is a little tricky, we have 70, negative 75, 0.75 and we have negative 0.83. The, negative 2.83 is actually the smaller one and that is because they're both negative. So just to recap, when you're comparing you want to make sure that you have them in the same form and they go out to the same decimal place. Negative 4.7, this is negative and this one is positive so we know that the positive number is going to be bigger. These negative 0.8 and negative 0.1, they're both negative. So when you're thinking about which one's smaller, which one is farther away from zero, it is the negative one farther away from zero. If we have a number line here, and this is zero, and this is negative one, point, negative 0.8 would be right about here. So that's why that one is bigger. And for this one, again, different forms, fraction versus decimal. So we're going to take two-thirds and change it into decimal form. When you do that, you get 0.6 repeating. So I'm gonna go out two decimal places here. It means I'm gonna go out two decimal places here. We have negative threes. The threes are the same, so we're really going to just be looking at this. 0.66 or 0 0.70, they're both negative, so the smaller one is furthest away from zero, which is the point seven. Go ahead and practice the rest of these on your own. Here are the answers when you turn in five and when you change five and a half into a decimal, you get this to be equal. Zero is bigger because this negative three tenths is negative. Again, we're going to change this into a decimal form, and I'm going to go out two decimal places just like that one. So 7.70 is greater than 7.07. .07. This one's negative, so it's obviously less than. Same with this scenario right here. Again, I'm going to change this into decimal for form and go out two decimal places because this one went out two decimal places. 4.5 is greater than 4.15. 4. Or sorry, 44.12 is less than 44.20. Again, going out those two decimal places, you can see that 20 is bigger than 12. These are equal. This one is negative, so it's clearly less than. Changing this into a decimal, I get 0 0.167 when I round. So this one is, the one sixth is bigger. So 
or sorry, 0 0.125 is less than. These are both negative, so we're looking at the smaller one is furthest from zero, negative 20.4 is farther from zero than negative 20.3, and then the last one is equal. When we are ordering rational numbers, we are going to do the same thing. We are going to put them all in the same form. I like to use decimal form, and then we are going to make sure they all go out to the same place value. So for example, in the first problem right here, we have 8.29, and that goes out two decimal places. So I am going to rewrite everything out to two decimal places above here, just so we have everything comparing apples to apples. 4.2, 0, 0, and negative 2.00. So now we're going to start with the negatives because those are going to be the smallest. The negatives that are furthest away from 0 are going to be the least. So that's where we have negative 6.5. And when I rewrite this, I'm going to rewrite them in the form that was given to us. So I'm going to use this form, but I'm going to reference right above it to make sure I have them all. Um, so I can cross that one out. We have another negative here, which is negative two. Now, before we get to the positives, we have zero, and then we have four and one fifth, and 8.29. So again, when you're ordering these, you are going to put everything in the same form out to the same decimal place. It's going to make that easier to put them in order at least to greatest. Let's try the next one. This one we're going to put in order from greatest to least. So again, I'm just going to change this one right here to decimal form. So 5 divided by 6 is going to be 0.83 repeating. All of these just go out to the tenths place, so I'm going to round that off to 3.8. I have negative 3.081, negative 0 0.1, and 5.2. So again, this direction says greatest to least, so I have 8 as the greatest, and then I have 5.2, 3 and 5 sixths, 1. When we're talking about negatives, the bigger one is closest to zero, so that's going to be negative 0 0.1. And then last but not least, we have negative 3. So that goes in order greatest to least. I want you to practice these six on your own. These right here are least to greatest. These you're going to put greatest to least. Here are the answers. Take a look. Make sure you were successful in ordering these rational numbers from least to greatest.